Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we're going to talk about a level sensor. A rather simple level sensor with its downsides but also upsides. It's looking like this. Yeah? This is in our Arduino starter kit. This is how this looks like. Basically, what we see here uh, are a lot of connectors or plates, conduct conductive surfaces. Uh, and important is that every second surface belongs to the other side. So here I tried to, to show it with the colors. Uh, so every second one is one side and the other side is the other second is the is the other second ones <laughs> the ones in between yeah? so all orange one are they are connected together here yeah? so they are all connected here this is one side and the brown ones they're also connected but not and this is important not To the orange side okay so basically those two sides are isolated all right so they are isolated to each other however if this surface now is getting touched uh, by something which is a little bit conductive yeah for instance a finger if we touch this yeah then we make a connection between those two sides yeah? and the more of the surface is touching this conductive material yeah? the better those two sides are interconnected to each other right this is why this is called a level sensor because if we think about putting it like this in a water or something like this and the water is rising yeah then the more the water is the more of the surface the water is touching yeah the better the conductivity between those two sides will be yeah so starting with nothing yeah going up to very good connectivity between the two sides all right this is why this can be used as level sensor the connections well there's a minus there's a plus yeah so we have here a minus this is of course ground yeah. then we have here a plus yeah. this is plus 5 volt yeah. and then we have the signal s this is something between 0 and 5 volts yeah, depending on how good those two things are interconnected already yeah? very high voltage means good connection very low voltage means bad connection zero volts means no connection at all okay this is how this is working there is a major downside of this yeah? a brand new one looks shiny yeah and once they're in use a longer period of times then every second contact is getting a little bit not that shiny let's call it not that shiny there is wear yeah? why is the wear yeah because actually if we are measuring fluids fluids conductive fluids are usually working with ions okay so there's ion conductivity and ions transport mass so they slowly destroy the contacts. This is not nice, right? So this, this is the downside of this sensor. This sensor can simply not be used for measuring all the time. We need to think about how we can manage that we measure and do not destroy the sensor within very short time. Yeah? You will see if you're using this sensor and put it into a glass of water and let it run, I don't know, some minutes, 
yeah, you will already see that there is something changing. So it's going rather fast. Yeah? And that tell, no, is it usable? Yes, it is usable. Yeah? I tell you, a lot of rain sensors at the rooftop windows, something yeah. like this, which are automatically open and closed. Yeah? They all have rain switches and the rain switches work usually like this. If there is a drop somewhere, we get a connection between the the uh, sides and this is recognized by the controller and the controller can close the window. Yeah. This, can, I mean, this, this is built in for decades yeah. and they are not destroyed. Yeah. They must do it somehow. Think about how you would do it. Yeah. Level sensor. Next time we try to program it. Okay, It's rather easy, yeah. but we will see in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.